Hi, this is Jen, and today we're going to be doing an advanced activity with the er sound. We're going to be working at the word and sentence level for this activity. And while we're doing this, I want you to remember to use this scale so that you can think about how you did when you made the sound. Was it, ooh, not even close? Maybe stop and go back a step. Try again, getting closer, you're almost there. Or was it perfect? If it's perfect, that means you are well on your way to walking down the mountain so you won't be stuck anymore. To recap, there are three things I want you to think of while you make your er sound. So number one, the tongue is gonna be back as far as it can go in the mouth. You can do that one of two ways. Either flip your tongue up and pull it back as far as you can, or keep your tongue tip down and bunch it into the back of your mouth like this. Either way, I want you to think about swallowing your tongue because that's as far back as it's got to be to make a good er sound. The second thing I want you to do is smile while you're making your er sound because if your lips come together, that means you're going to have a sneaky wuh and we got to throw those away, right? The last thing I want you to think about is if it doesn't sound quite right, I want you to hold the sound out so that it might go like this. If you start saying a word and you might say, rain so you notice how in the beginning eh, that was definitely a try again moment and by the end I got the er to be perfect behind me you'll notice I have eight different boxes so this box has the r at the beginning and the rest of the word would be over here so this box is for words that start with r like rain ring right this box down here has an X and then an R. So this box is for blends. You can put a letter here like the letter D to say drink. You could put a B here to say bread. You could put a T here to say tree. So this box is for any word that is a blend. It starts with the letter here and R is either in the second or third letter position. You could also have it in the third letter position like in words such as strong, right? For these next ones, these are all different sounds that can end words where er is the final sound in the word. So we have six of them. And when we practice with these, I want you to think about that it's not how the word is spelled because sometimes English has crazy spellings for things. So I just want you to think about how the word sounds when you say it, and we're gonna categorize which type of er sound it is, but don't look at how it's spelled because sometimes it might mislead you. All right, so we've got R, words that end with that sound. So it might be words like car, right? We've got er, such as teacher, right? That has our er sound in it. But also, guess what? The word girl also has er in it, even though it's spelled G-I-R-L. So that's what I mean by it could be tricky if you just look at the spelling. So I want you to think about how the word sounds. All right, we have words that end in or, so that would be words like more or for, such as that. Um, over here, we have words that end with the sound ear, right? So that could be like fear or even the word mirror. So guess what? Mirror is spelled with M-I-R-R-O-R, -R -R, but it's really sounds like this when we say it is a mirror. I looked at myself in the mirror. And here we have words that end in Ire, so that could be words like fire or liar, right? And the last one, we've got um, words that end with air. So it could be words like bear or fair. So I've got some picture cards and we're going to talk about what type of R each of these pictures has in it. Then what I want you to do is look around your house or find some objects in your house and categorize them with someone in your family into the right type of er sound category. This can be kind of tricky, remember, because it's not how it's spelled, it's how it sounds. So here we go together now. I'm gonna start with our first card and check it out. We've got a pretzel, so that's a P-R. Oh, and check it out. If I put a P right here, and then we have the R, and we can say the word pretzel. So pretzel is a blend. Go ahead and say the word pretzel. Let's see what's next. We are gonna do this one, cheerleaders. Ooh, so I'm actually gonna do this word at the beginning is cheer, 
let's see, when I hear the word cheer, what do I hear in there? I don't hear char, I don't hear chur, and I don't hear chore, but I do hear cheer. So cheer actually has the ear sound at the end. And this one is spelled E-A-R, but check it out for cheerleader, it's C-H-E-E-R, right? So that is interesting. Let's see another one we're going to do. Oh, this little doll is in a high chair. Hmm. So chair. Oh, check it out. I hear the word air inside that word chair, right? So this one belongs in the green category. Here we go. Our next one is dinosaur. Hmm. So it, at the end there, it's spelled with A-U-R, but I hear or when I say that word, right? Dinosaur has an or at the end. This next one is easy. I've got a purple sports car and this one does match. It ends with A-R and it also belongs in the A-R category right here for car. All right, let's see what else. I've got a tricky one for us now. So check this out. We've got some scissors. Hmm. So it ends with O-R over here. But when I listen to the word scissors, hmm, it actually has er in it. So these are some scissors, right? Okay. Here's an easy one now. I've got a robot. Hmm. So check it out. The word robot starts with R, so it's going to go into this category right there for robot. All right, I've got a few more to do. Here's a deer. Hmm. So in the middle there, it has E-E-R, uh, but when I listen to how it sounds, I hear ear, right? So that one also goes in this blue category, deer. And you can have a deer like this, or when you start a letter, if you put a D here and you said Dear Grandma, that's how you might start a letter, huh? All right, we got another one. Oh no, I was driving my car and I got a flat tire. Hmm, so listen to that R sound in tire. Okay, it's definitely not tar, it's not tur, it's not tor, it's not tear. <gasps> Oh, but check it out. It is tire. There we go. We've got that ire sound in there, huh? And here's this one. Oh, frog. So I know that the R is near the beginning of the word, right? But it doesn't start the word. It's not a rog. So I've got to put an F here and then I can say the word frog. So that's a blend. And two more we're going to do together. Then it'll be your turn. Uh, this is a special type of bird called a parrot. So when I listen to that er sound in the word, I hear the word air, parrot. But did you notice how when we spell it, it has A-R, but it actually doesn't belong in this category. So it belongs in the air category because we say parrot. There we go. And our last one we're gonna do together you got a scary grizzly bear up there. So when I hear the word bear, mm, I also think about air, right? Even though it's spelled differently, look, bear is spelled B-E-A-R, but it sounds like air, bear. What I want you to do now is look around your house. You can look in the living room, in the kitchen, your bedroom. You could even look out the window and either collect the objects or write down the words, um, all with different R sounds in them that you see. And then what you're gonna do is talk with someone in your house about what category all of those words belong into, right? What type of R do those words have? If you're working at the word level, I want you to practice saying the word clearly three times and make sure to use the scale to rate yourself on your production. If you're working at the sentence level, I want you to take that word and make a sentence about it. Just anything that you want, get creative and have fun with it. And again, as you make your sentence, make sure you use this scale to rate yourself on how your production was. So pause the video here so you can look at the different categories for your er practice. Good luck. <laughs> 